Welcome back everyone. We're in the Giants Editor today. I'm Jewel and we're going to do a tutorial on the text, terrain detail texture paint mode and how to paint for beginners. How to paint on your map in the Giants Editor for Farming Simulator 22 which you technically could do this for any of the Farming Simulator games in the Editor. But this is just for beginners so that if you don't know what to do, now you can learn. So we're going to roll in with our scroll wheel and you can right click to move up and down, left to right. And there's other videos before this one. This one is, I believe, step four. You really don't have to go so much by step one, step two, step three in that particular order per se. Maybe, maybe for step one you do because you need the map. But other than that, those are just steps that I'm calling step one and two just for order's sake and not so much for you have to do it this way like you have to do step four as this and you have to do five as that you know you can do it in a different order that's just my order of showing you for a tutorial for beginners of to learning how to do this in the editor so now we're going to go ahead and pick an area say we want to make dirt right here instead of concrete what you can do is go up to come on in like roll down to that spot right click lifts you up down left right so we're just going to point down with the right click hold it down drag it down while it's being held down on the right mouse button and then you're going to let go and then roll in to your spot you want put your right mouse button down again and hold it to pick it up a little adjust yourself to where you want and then once you do that, you're going to go ahead and click on the paint uh, texture mode, uh, terrain detail texture paint mode. Click that, and then you're going to come over here to your terrain editing area. Pick the, the brush that you want, round or square. You could have a square brush if you want to do things like roads and things. Or you can do a round brush, which I typically do. And on the left mouse button you click add because that's what you're going to be doing is adding it and then on the uh -oh, other area you roll down to texture layer painting and this is the texture layer and you need to click on it and pick which one you want in this list and right now it's on animal mud so if I was to click down which I'll do for video's sake left click right there it puts down animal mud. Then if I come over here and change it to say concrete and click down, it's changing it right there where I'm painting. Left mouse button down because it's on add. My left mouse button is saying add. So I'm clicking my left mouse button to add the paint. And then you can click on it again and say you want something else, whatever you want, pathway. Then left click where you want it, paint it down. So that's how you paint it down. And if you say, oh, I didn't want that there, then come up here to edit, click undo, and it's gone. Or there's other ways you can do that. You could come up here and go back, say, to gravel. I think it's gr this gravel. I'm not sure. Whatever this gravel is here. And say you just like, oh, I, I didn't quite want that that far. And then you can just come over with the left mouse button and fix it back a little bit. See? So you don't necessarily have to click undo. You can paint back over it with the thing that's around it or whatever. So, and then if you don't like none of it, just paint it all back gravel. Like so. And you can make road. You can make a path. You can pick any one of these you want. Look down the list. You can do mud and the pathway the riverbed looks like that paint left mouse button and hold it down while you're painting and just move your cursor around and then you can do that or you can do gravel dirt whatever that's going to look like like that just pick your one you like the most for the particular job you need, forest ground. You can make the forest ground. And we're going to do foli foliage on the next episode. So stay tuned for that. 
and then you can do any one of these. I'm just showing you a couple so you can see it. Dirt number four. It's kind of dark. I don't particularly. I mean, I like it, but I like the old. I like FS17's dirt, the brown color. I don't know why they don't let us have it. And then they got animal mud for like a pig pen and what have you. And you could do like a dirt muddy road or put it in certain spots for a road. But you get the point. These are the options. You just scroll down the texture layer list. You pick grass right here. This is what you usually pick for the map areas. And then you're going to put your foliage down, which is this little tree one, terrain, foliage, uh, paint mode, which we're going to do later on another episode. But for now, I just wanted to show you a little bit about this. And then you're like, just say you did all these and you're like, oh, man. I don't, I don't, I don't like any of it. None of it's good. And you're like, I don't like it. Uh, basically, you're gonna come up here and just pick your one that you want. You, you're like, okay, then I just want one of them. And then just pick whatever one that is and just go right over it, the whole thing. So you're not making a mistake. You won't, you won't be able, you won't have a problem getting rid of something. So don't panic. You can get rid of it. You can either click undo if it's the last thing you did right there. You can click it more than once because it'll go back so many steps. Or you can pick your different uh, like concrete or whatever you want. You can see the different choices. You could make this whole area concrete. Now what you can do is click back on this to move because you can't move like that. I mean you can. There's another way but I don't want to show you yet. I want to wait and let you learn a little by little so you don't get overwhelmed so you can turn this off up here this and, and roll back out and what you could do is then turn it back on you could make this uh, bigger and you can put it on concrete if you wanted this different and you can just do the whole thing in one big go so you don't have to do it in little bitty small bits just make sure you go over the whole thing and we'll show you in, a, in the next episode how to get rid of what like see where there's grass showing we'll, I'll show you how to get rid of that on the next episode like that you can make it however you want say you wanted a road coming over here roll this down and you can make a road coming over there whatever whatever you want see so many options so that's just gonna be all we're gonna do on this tutorial I know it's short. I want to keep it short so you're not overwhelmed so you can focus on just painting. Learn how to do that. Move on to the next thing. So, And if you're new, you need to look back at the other episodes. It shows you how to get all these windows and all those things. It shows you how to get the map in the, in the so you have it to work on for the editor and so on. So check out all the uh, tutorials on that at step one, step two, step three, so on. Um, but I hope this helps somebody that's new. I know it's hard when you first look in here. It's like, what in the world's all this stuff? I don't know what I'm doing. It's not that hard. Take your time. I have a, several videos you can look at. There's lots of different things that I've shown on tutorials on what to do. So check out my playlist on Giants Editor tutorials and what have you check out also check out my simulator games i do gold rush the game ranch simulator farming simulator 19 and 22 i uh, also do trader life simulator 1 and 2 i've done a little bit of house flipper i've done a few demos so check those out uh lawn mowing simulator and so on so please check those out the channel's growing quickly i do thank everybody thank you to all the new subscribers thank you to everyone who's been subscribed the channel's growing quickly and i i sure appreciate it uh, but i'm gonna go ahead and call that an episode here and be looking forward to the foliage we'll show you how to get rid of this this grass that's here like see it We'll show you that on the next episode. I'm keeping them separate just so it's easier for people to find. And then we'll get rid of all that grass and what have you. But we'll show you that on the next episode. I'm going to catch you on the next one. Please hit the like button. Subscribe. Turn on your notification bell if you want to receive a notification every time I post a video. Goodbye, everybody.